Because he wants to know the existence of God. Yeah, he's a, he's an ex-Muslim, then ex-Christian, to Hindu, which is your su lovely subject. So to get to conviction, you have to have belief. To have belief, you have to. So in here, you see, you just put yourself in a philosophical uh, so, dilemma. So as you said, we don't pay too much attention to the terminology. Uh, let's talk about... Uh, no, no, no. I am interested uh -huh. because you come at me and you say, belief, we don't use belief and that. So I have just to kind of... To talk. So I want to establish the, the rules to talk to yes. you. Okay. And what, what do you want to get out of this conversation? Uh, I want to... Uh, I have a question and I want to hear the, 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 ans the answer to it. Okay. Uh, so so I, I, t I... Well, let me just put it to you yes. this way. We established that. The question. We established first. We established that what you say at the beginning is false. The 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 thing that this uh, that you can't use belief. We know that conviction. In order to get to conviction, yes. you have to believe. You have to have a belief. Okay. And yes. that belief turns okay. into conviction. Okay. That's how you. I that's admit, okay. I all right. So we have we have established that. Okay. So that's your pr your, your first okay. fault. We have established okay. that. No problem. Now the second one is. Yes. Ask your question directly. Yeah? Yes. The, the question is, what is existence? It, is this question relevant when when you talk about God exists? Isn't it a, the most fundamental question that should be addressed before we say whether God exists or not? You should say, okay. what is existence? Okay. Do you exist? Okay. Yes. How do you or, know you exist? I I know it not by answer uh, by, by my mind yeah that my question my question look yes. my question is simple how do you know that you exist by existing how i i know existence i know my existence. L listen if you can't explain to me yes how you know that you exist then don't if when i answer my question don't come yes. at me saying you have to I, explain to me how do you know that you exist exactly I, 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 no 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 carry on no no I, he wants to know the existence of god yeah he's a he's an ex-muslim then ex-christian to hindu which is your su lovely subject wait are you a hindu uh, no he's yeah. a hindu now yeah, yeah. which your subject which your subject by the way you said you were an ex-muslim ex-muslim what's the difference between Adan and Ikama. Uh, Adan is uh, the time uh, to uh, the time of prayer has come in, and uh, Ikama is the time uh, when uh, they start praying in the in the mosque. It's not the time; it's the call for the prayer. call for prayer and then the, the call, call for prayer. For is Adan. Adan. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's not the same. As a, but anyway, no you you are close. No problem. Okay. Uh, now, yeah. now he asked just to establish the. Yeah. He said he came at me first, but the, uh, in Hinduism, belief and that, and it's just conviction. I said to him, Be before you have conviction, you have to have belief, because the belief will turn into the conviction, and that's how you go. So we have. So as, uh, as an Advaita Advaita Vedanta, yeah, yeah. you, yeah. you, do you believe in the scriptures, the Hindu scriptures? Uh, yes, uh, mainly the Upanishad. They they focus on the Upanishad. The Advaita Vedantas focus on the uh, text right. of uh, Upanishads. Uh, they're, they're main so what, what, what do the what about the Vedas? Uh, they, uh, I, I personally, I haven't studied uh, the Vedas. I'm, I'm learning from the Advaita Vedantas uh, themselves. No, no, here. Who always talk okay. about the, uh, the Upanishads. I'm but you know the Upanishads actually are part of. The, they, are, they, they summarize the Vedas. The, the Vedas. Exactly. Do you know that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Vedas are the, the primary source. Exactly. Yeah. yeah the, the Upanishads come later yeah, on. Yeah. So as, as a, as a Hindu, do you, are you into uh, idol worship or you're not? Uh, uh, as a Vedantan, as an Advaita Vedantan, uh, idol uh, worship is uh, a legitimate way, one of the legitimate, uh, legitimate ways of spiritual paths. Like, spiritual paths are many, and uh, idolatry is one of them, it's just one of them. Islam is one of them. Islam is a legitimate way to God, uh, 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 as idolatry, uh, Christianity well, uh, No, no, is, Islam, Islam frowns uh, upon idolatry. I mean, I mean, uh, I mean uh, according to Advaita Vedanta, yeah. there are many paths. He's uh, talking about spiritual path. path, legitimate, right, uh, good spiritual path. So path. who decides which path is right? Uh, who? Who decides which path is right? Uh, it's, because uh, when you say many paths, you know, there yes. are many paths. Yes. And some of them claim that they, that X is God, somebody says Y is God. Yes. Who decides ultimately which path is right? Uh, there is no 
uh, Oh, do you one, say they're all right? Uh, they're all right, according to Advaita Vedanta, they are all right. So what about the Agori, the part of the Agori? Is that right? Uh, Agori, what is Agori? Agori, so Agori are actually, uh, they are devotees of Shiva. Uh-huh. And they indulge in cannibalism. Oh, I see. Yeah. I, I think, I think according to Advaita Vedanta, uh, all paths are uh, totally uh, legitimate, even those which look to us uh, uh, bad or something like this. Because so when you say they're all right, you are saying that the path of a cannibal is right. Uh, they, by the way, they don't just indulge right. in cannibalism. And when I say cannibalism, I don't mean they eat live the, people. The, the, they, they eat they, they eat the, the people who are dead. Dead, yeah. yeah. The meat of the, the river. flesh of but but of human. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah? And they they actually indulge in necrophilia. Yeah, you yeah. know what's necrophilia? Mm, uh, necrophilia is uh, not sleeping, right? They don't no, sleep. No, 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 no. It's something else. Something uh, sorry, else. Uh, it doesn't matter. But else. it does matter actually. It does. Uh, I mean, it does. does matter. It does yeah. matter. Yeah. Because ne necrophilia is actually having intercourse with a dead person. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. yeah. So uh, l uh, let me clarify something uh, very, very important. In Advaita, in Advaita Vedanta, Advaita Vedanta is not a moral doctrine, and. In, it's not a moral according, doctrine. According to Advaita Vedanta, according to Advaita Vedanta. So you can have immorality in your doctrine. Uh, uh, not even immorality. It's it's a uh, epistemological uh, path. How does that question? How does that answer immorality? Uh, because you're uh, ask him. Your ask him what? Should, what uh, no. Ask him what does he what does he consider morality to be? That's, yes. That's very good. You morality, establish that exactly. first. That's, that's yeah. A good question. Establish so that. Morality is. Uh, reached to by reason and now we have just by I reason have, by reason right okay, morality so using, using morality. your reason tell morality us. we know we know good and bad by okay, reason right by reason okay so let me, nah. this is good this let, is bad let me ask you this. by your reasoning by your faculty of reasoning yes is necrophilia right or wrong bad of course okay now you said every part is righteous righteous and yes. leads can, to god can a righteous part have something which is bad Immoral, uh, righteous, but not in the sense uh, uh, that it is moral. I okay, think. let's define righteous. Ah, uh, I am saying uh, exactly. Let's define righteous. Right. Righteous, epistemologically. Yeah. I mean, we established at the beginning that we cannot know existence by reasoning. No, we haven't. We haven't established we haven't that established yet. yet. We haven't established so that we, yet. We, let's establish this first. Let's, yeah, let's <laughs> let's establish what this is, is what righteousness. We, wait, righteousness. Then we move to existence. So if, if you, uh, what, what's righteous? A righteous person. A, ra a righteous person. Uh, uh, a taqi. A taqi. Yes. Insan taqi. Uh, uh, it depends on the uh, society. Definition. A definition has got. Remember, as a definition a has got. No, it depends on that. A definition is a definition. Yes. Then we apply it. No, a righteous person is a person who lives in a, uh, a society according to which he is good. I mean. So the society society, society decides. decides. Okay, but you're saying. The society decides. Earlier you who said is it right. was a faculty of reasoning. And your within, faculty of within reasoning. Within the society. Yeah. So within, within the society, society. I'll tell yes. you what, no problem. Within the society, yes. the faculty of reasoning decides that necrophilia is wrong. Mm -hmm. Is it still righteous? Yes. Sorry, sorry. No, 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 no. Ma, ma, he let didn't me, understand you. He didn't yeah. understand you. Yeah, let me repeat you, yeah. again. He didn't understand. According to you, righteousness is decided by the faculty of reasoning within a society. Yes. Have I got the right? Relativity. Okay. Wait, so wait, if wait. The society decides yes. collectively that necrophilia and cannibalism is immoral. Is wrong and immoral. Are righteous. Unrighteous. Would you still call it righteousness? If uh, society says it's immoral, yeah, the whole of the society is wrong, the immoral, immoral, the unethical, unethical, did, did had, it's did evil. Had, uh -huh. did if they say it's evil, would you still consider it to be righteous? No, I would call it uh, evil. Okay, good. Okay. So going back to your earlier statement, all paths lead to God. Mm -hmm. Is the part of the agoris who do indulge in cannibalism, and necrophilia, necrophilia, does it now lead to the path of righteous part of God? Mm, uh, yes. How? 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 I don't think you Wait. understand. No, no, no. no I, I can explain to him in Arabic. I, I can explain to him in Arabic. He understands English, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he understands. Understand English, right? He, does, he yeah, does. But if it is difficult, okay. I will, uh, let us see how he justifies it. I'm how telling justify you, but you, yeah. you, you don't understand. I am saying. What's your name, by the way? Uh, Abdul Qadir. Abdul Qadir. Uh, study. Uh, uh, I am saying that uh, morality is something and the truth is something else. When you talk about the truth of I didn't existence. Ask you for truth. No, I asked no, no, your no. definition of righteousness. You told me it is the morality based on yes. the, the society. 
if the society itself has decided that necrophilia and cannibalism, cannibalism yeah. of is, the dead is, is evil, unethical, immoral, and bad, yes. then you're still saying it's righteous. You're going against your own. Uh, no, you're, I'm you're, saying, you're going uh, against your own principles. 